Hello, my name's Max Marsden uh, and I'm one of the lead authors on this publication uh, from a trainee-led collaborative called Natric. Um, we looked at trauma laparotomy outcomes in the United Kingdom and I'm really grateful to the Journal of um, the American College of Surgeons uh, for publishing our paper. Uh, I do hope you find it interesting. The reason that we wanted to look at this problem uh, is because we noticed that trauma laparotomy patients have had uh, no obvious improvement improvement in survival um, over the last 20 years compared to the general trauma population which of course have seen improvements in survival. So we ran a prospective observational study uh, at every major trauma centre in the United Kingdom back in 2019. Uh, there were 34 trauma centres uh, across the country that enrolled patients and we recruited just over uh, 360 patients. Our primary aim um, was to describe this patient population, both in terms of their demographics, uh, their outcomes, and the key performance um, processes that these patients went through. And we were also interested to assess whether we could see any factors that were associated with mortality. And the reason we wanted to do that was to see where uh, there may be scope for um, improvement uh, in patient care. Uh, we hope you find the um, findings of our study uh, interesting. We certainly were uh, particularly interested in the relationship uh, between those patients that had um, a major hemorrhage protocol activation and received some blood uh, and the fact that these patients had a higher mortality, much higher than their um, counterparts who did not activate the major hemorrhage protocol despite um, achieving better care process metrics along the way. Um, again, thank you very much for your interest in our study.